first shoot of my exhibition work. So I thought I'd document it all in one big thing. So we went to Primark and we bought very, very long white socks, a soft bra thing, these shorts and a long sleeved t-shirt, all in white so I can embroider upon said things. That is what today is. And we've got two hours to do this and start the shoot. So get it get going. This would be so much faster on the machine. one and this is what I've managed to do so far. This will be a D when I'm done. This is not going well. Oh, it's very thick and shit. Okay so if I get this and the knickers done by three we've got two hours to photograph. <laughs> February, the last day of February, I have just returned from university where I gave my project proposal presentation and it's, before I talk about it, it's snowing a lot, so yeah. My uni building has closed at 12, my presentation group was supposed to be from 11 till 1, but because we had to leave at 12, I think they weren't rushed through, like no one was cut off or anything like that but no questions were asked really of anyone at the end and usually the indication of how well your presentation went is how many questions they ask at the end. If they don't ask many, you've answered everything, included everything um, that they wanted to know about your work. So if they ask little to no questions then I think it's done. But obviously because it was snowing and they were I think only three people didn't turn up, so I think there were seven of us in the group. We all went through everything. I feel like mine was the longest, but they didn't rush me or anything like that, which was fantastic. Today, after I'd given the presentation, I handed in a print off of the presentation, the notes, and my, um, my zine prototype that I had done. So, now I'm kind of in no man's land until I get my results from that so I'm just gonna keep keep going shoot number two after two months of nothing because of other deadlines but we have shot three props today so that's five in total Whoop. 
Mm -hmm. I've got another either one or two tomorrow, which is great. We've got Isabella over here in a cute little marshmallow jumper <laughs> and Leah down here. There she is in the little pop-up DIY studio. We're in Hub 8, which is Alan's building and it's offices and this is currently a temporary studio because he's still faffing around with um, things. But currently the setup is my lights, Leah, and this backdrop which is kind of see-through, not really as white as I'd want it but we were meant to have a wall. Don't have a wall. And the carpet's blue but it's fine, we're working it. The photos we've taken so far are amazing. Gabby was here but she had to go early. Um, but it is 10 p.m. currently, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. It's time for a nap. Um, it's. I don't know how I'm going to manage to drive home. I'm really tired. But the important thing is, I have wonderful friends who volunteer to do wonderful things for me. To get their duties out. To get their bits and bobs out for me. It's the day later. It's the 11th today. Yeah, and it's half past 11. And it's half past 11 at night, which is great. I've been sewing this whole time, but. Here, yeah. that's on a dress, which I've just finished sewing now, and there's Karis, my glamorous assistant. And all day, all day, all day, <laughs> I've been sewing the long sleeve t shirt all the way around, <laughs> which has got these on it. And that is why it's taken all day because look at the sheer amount of sewing on that. <laughs> but Alan has been an absolute angel this whole time and not rushed me out. <laughs> But yeah, my two glamorous bad. models for <laughs> this part of the shoot, and maybe my last. Ooh. So after today, I may be done. Sweet freedom. Oh, right. I thought you went ever. I'm not retiring. <laughs> Imagine. I'm I'd just get a degree and then I'm like, right, I'm done now. That's my That's photography like career over. Completed it. Completed. <laughs> the room is warming up, and it's the same setup as yesterday. <clears throat> Yay, with my lights, which is very nice. And the props are actually sewn now. <laughs> Finally, a million years later. Today we were supposed to start at half five p.m. I didn't set off until seven, half seven. Half seven. We actually got here about eight, about eight o'clock. Then we just started garlic bread. That went well. Yeah, that went really well. And then we got to play with the dog. And then I had to finish my sewing, but it's finished now. Can I actually shoot now? Woo! Woo woo! Oh, he's handsome. Yeah, I know. I'm going to punch my face. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's so handsome, you're going to punch someone's face. Do <laughs> <laughs> you really think we might be weird? <laughs> Your arms down now and like roll your shoulders back and just relax your arms down and grab the bottom of the top. Don't pull it, but like twist it slightly to your other way. There. But put your arms in so the rest resting on your legs. Yeah, but twist a little bit more that way. Yeah. Thank you. You take direction very well. <laughs> Good. Imagine your butt being so fly it looks like a crotch. <laughs> That's my life. I don't have to imagine it. <laughs> Paper hath arrived, Rosie hath also arrived, and today we are trialling printers to see how the pink is going to come across. Because I've been able to print on pink paper for the test images, and obviously this is white, I'm having to experiment. Spring has sprung and then immediately vanished and summer has arrived. 22 degrees, I am melting. Fingers crossed that this trial and error thing is all trial and success and no <laughs> error because... All trial, no error. All trial, That's no error. That's what we want from every trial and error. That's what we want, so hopefully that happens. What do we think is that? That's purple. That's not right either. Happy Monday morning, Sam's just... Did you carry this up the stairs? 
Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, my frame's arrived. That box is huge. Foot for size reference. Like, Christ. Okay, so it's now the 3rd or 4th of May, I think it's the 3rd, and when I ordered my frames I could have chosen pink mounts for them, didn't, because I didn't think that my lecturer would appreciate that choice, so I ordered them with white ones and then speaking to my lecturer she decided that pink ones would be a good idea so I ordered pink ones that are too big so the gap is the same pretty much so maybe if I just cut the off bits down but my frames are perfect and very heavy yeah. Mm. I love them, I think they're great. Ooh. I imagine if the table was actually level or the right side. Look at this. Is that the board that it's, it's not cutting it, it's just it's bending it. It's not cutting it. Inside this box are 150 copies of ifs and buts. I am terrified. I've been sat with this box for about 25 minutes without opening it because I'm so frightened. But hopefully it's all going to be exactly what I imagined. I am terrified. I don't even want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. And then another box. Number one. And number two. Oh. They're in here. There's two of these. And the packaging, their like marketing is fantastic. I am terrified. This has been so much like Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, and there's another one. I'm just getting, this is so, oh my God, I can see it. Oh my God, I can see it. Oh my God, I can see. <gasps> this is my 
child. This zine is my baby. And here's the back. So now my plan is to sit and write edition numbers on the back of all 150 of them and sign them. I'm really happy, like... Oh. I could actually cry with happiness. Box full of my children. Sam's artist statements have arrived. Ooh. Emma's just dropped them off. Let's have a look. Oh. Stunning. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Emma works at Digilab. And that's why we got them printed. And now they're here. Good morning, it be the morning. <laughs> it is Tuesday the 29th of May and we're going to be on queue. But we're going to buy paint to paint me gallery walls. We're gonna get this one. It is called Fallen Petal for the pink. And I brought a bit of my mount to double check it and it is very, very similar. Right then, so, so that is good. <laughs> what do we think of light rain? I don't know, I think I like the other one better. This one. Cool shit. That one. I'm going to carry that one. Okay. <laughs> Have we got everything? I think so. Yay! I can't imagine so. Most of the screws are in now. Decided to hang it just by one. Bulldog clip rather than two, but here is what it will look like. End of day one, Dad is cleaning the carpet with a baby wife. I already tried my hardest and it just didn't work, but we have 1.2 meters of pink wall, 3. Point something meters of white wall. Do you remember what it is? 3.6? It'll be 3.6 if it's 1.6. 3.6, and we also have 1.2 of grey, but also there are screws in for my zines to be hung upon. So tomorrow is painting over the tip, hanging up the rail, putting all the zines up putting the table together and cleaning the carpet because it is not great. End of day one. Ta -da! Yay! Oh no. Sorry. <laughs>
She's just bouncing oh. against it. <laughs> Ta-da! of exhibition installation the 30th of May, it's a Wednesday and we're going for our third trip to B&Q <laughs> and probably not our last and probably not our last because we're going to buy a sanding block sanding block, sandpaper yeah we were going to get a scraper but we don't, we don't need, need one a scraper. and then we're going to go to Tiger and try and find some kind of price label or something that we can use as a price label um, which will be good. I need it big enough to include the information on it. So that 50% of the proceeds will be going to the Survivors Trust. So I'll have That's a gander. And then we're going to do the next bits of paint, measuring. Going to put up the rail today. Got all the clothes there, hanging up in the window, ready to go on the rail. And my arms really ache, like holding the camera up hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> we did a solid about six hours of painting yesterday, didn't we? Must have been around that. Well, we finished around at seven. seven. Yeah, we got home at seven. So, so yeah, a long day, that. a long day, and same again today. Hopefully, to the point of completion. We have the table, all my zines are in that box. The hanger is up with all of the garments inside. I just need to put the Velcro up for my artist statement there tomorrow. And on the white walls, my six prints are up. I'm so happy. And then tomorrow or maybe even Friday morning, I'll be putting 20 of my zines up on these little screws on bulldog clips. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, Maggie. Yay! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your services. Do your best curtsy. Very nice.
p.m. But look. Uh, all done. I have my table, my rail, artist statement, all the frames, and then my zine wall. So it's all ready. Apart from the um, carpet needs a bit of a clean. somewhere yep right in this corner and there bye please sign to say you have submitted and then go to the pub to celebrate oh no way does it say that oh thanks dave i'm signing it ah! <laughs> holy shit holy Fucking shit. Do you like it? I think it's um, very inspirational. Mm. Very you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yes, it is what I expected, even though I didn't know anything about it. Um, I think you've um, portrayed a very difficult subject with humour and inspiration. You. That's exactly what I was going for. Thanks. <laughs> well, you knew it was something to do with Harvey Weinstein straight away, didn't you? Well, I mean, I just thought it might be hard to have had a look at it a bit sooner. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tweet Maybe it at him. Saved himself a lot of the angst. And jobs and, and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes. And I'm sure it's uh, pertinent and of the moment. Oh, thank you. Very fancy. This granddad dad loves Meg's work. Very thoughtful working. Very startling colours brings brings it to the fore. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm wearing pink trousers. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Alright, Mum. Alright. Alright. Look who I've got. Look who I've got. Look who I've got. Look who I've got. Wow. Oh, and we're so proud. proud. You did it. Don't be proud. Oh my god, you make it look amazing. <laughs> You've done such an amazing job. Oh, I'm so happy you like it. Oh. Dun 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 dun. How many good people? It's me. So today is Thursday the 5th of July, it has been a very long time since I started filming this video that you have hopefully now come to the end of. Um, thank you for watching all of it, you know, it's some. It's the thing that I'm most proud of in my life ever um, and the reason I waited so long to finish and then post this video is because I wanted to end it letting you know what grade I got and it just so happens that I graduated yesterday. I was planning on finishing this video before then, but I graduated yesterday. I am wearing my University of Sunderland hoodie that I picked up after my graduation and the back. Class of 2018.
But yes, yesterday was the 4th of July, Independence Day in America. I graduated and got this piece of paper. This is not my like actual graduation certificate because, you know, I wouldn't let it get this damaged. Uh, I've got to wait another two weeks or something for that. But this is my Academic Awards Ceremonies um, certificate thing. It says, please note the certificate is for presentation purposes only. I am aware. But I am very happy to announce that I got a first for my exhibition. I did graduate with a 2-1, which is fantastic. Looking through my transcript from the past four years, I cannot quite believe my progression. Um, but that's I'm going to do a whole other video about graduation and how I'm feeling and all that kind of stuff. Um, but right now it's about the project, it's about ifs and buts and my exhibition and how proud of myself I am. I just wanted to round up the video by saying I am horrendously proud of myself. Um, I can't believe I got a first for it. Well, I can because like I, I felt it because I worked so hard and like I was literally living, eating, breathing that project for nearly a year, for 10 months. Um, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, yeah, I was really happy. And now I'm gonna get in touch with some people and some places to see if they'd be interested in exhibiting it but I am hoping to raise as much money as humanly possible for the Survivors Trust so if you like what you see with the zines I'll go and get one and give you a quick flick through here so if you like what you see in this and fancy buying one they are four pounds you can buy them from Witchcrafts which is Jess's store I will link that down below or you can just send me a message and I've got a PayPal and I can just get your details and send it over. But this is the front cover which is designed by my beautiful friend Jazz Harbord. And this is the back cover with a lot, a lot of help numbers and resources that are useful for those suffering or dealing with some kind of sexual assault. And inside it is just full of my photographs that I have taken. I'll just show you a couple of the pages because I don't want to give away the whole thing but I am planning on Ifs and Buts Volume 2 so that'll be coming soon and sneaky hint it's to do with the upskirting situation that we've had going on at the minute um so yeah please get one two pounds from each sale goes to the Survivors Trust I am really hoping to sell as many as I can so I can donate lots of nice pennies to a wonderful charity. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed my my journey um, of creating my exhibition and my last couple of months at university. But yes, I am very proud of myself. I feel like I have done something good and yeah. Uh, it's not going to be the end of ifs and buts, this is going to keep going for a really long time. Probably won't document it this thoroughly, but I will carry on sharing my zine campaign photography kind of deals on this channel forever. Um, I feel like I've said a million times, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.